Hello students, welcome to Shore Officers classes. So in today's video, we will be solving MA Economics, Hyderabad Central University question paper. So today we will be focusing on part B. So in part B, the first question is question number 26, which says find the price elasticity of demand for curvilinear demand function of the form this. So we have to find the elasticity of demand for the curvilinear demand function. So the elasticity of demand is given by Q equals to A P to the power minus B. So this is the curvilinear demand and we have to find the price elasticity of demand. For this first we have to find out, we have to differentiate the this equation with respect to P. If you differentiate this, we will get the value to be equals to minus B will come in front. So it will become A B and P minus B minus 1 it will become so basically it will become minus B minus 1 so we have this now from here what we can do is we will find out the elasticity which is given by change in Q by change in P into P by Q so we can write the elasticity to be equals to change in P change in Q by change in P into P by Q now here we can write down our findings which is change in Q by change in P is equals to minus AB P into P to the power minus B minus 1 and P by Q for this we can write it to be simply P by Q is given by this so A to the A P to the power minus B. Now if you simply divide this two this A and A gets cancelled out so we will be left with minus B from above then p to the power 1 minus b minus 1 into p p to the power minus b now if you solve it further you will get the value to be equals to minus b from here then p to the power minus b minus 1 sorry it will be minus b minus 1 then plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 plus b so the value will be equals to minus b so the value will be equals to minus b as this and this gets cancelled out this and this so p to the power this becomes 0 so minus b we are left with minus b so out of this minus b which is option a is the right answer so for question number 26, we have found the price elasticity of demand for curvilinear demand function to be equals to minus B. So for question number 26, we have found it to be equals to option A. So now we'll go to the question number 28. So as we are done with question number 26, we'll come to question number 27 later. Now we'll go to question number 28. So deflation is basically decrease in general price. So for question number 28, the right answer is option C. That is deflation is basically decrease in general price level. So decrease in general price level is equals to deflation. So for question number 28, the right answer is option C. Now we come to the question number 29. So question number 29 says Laspierre index there are four option is given is base year price index base weighted price index end year price index and end year weighted price index so we know it would be equals to option B that is base weighted price index so Laspierre index is basically it is basically base weighted price index so last peer index is basically base weighted price index so option b is the right answer for question number 29 so so far we have done three questions 
now we'll go to the next one which is rate of unemployment is calculated as so there are four options given percentage number of unemployment to total population percentage number of unemployment to labor force percentage number of unemployment to skilled population none of the above so the right answer would be percentage of number of unemployment unemployment by labor force percentage is equals to rate of unemployment so for question number 30 the right answer is option b so for question number 30 the right answer is option b so now we'll go to the next question which is the name of the Francois Cosene is associated with four things are given output output input output method general equilibrium method marginal cost theory and tableau economic so we know name of Francis Cosene is related to tableau economic so this is related to D which is tableau economic so now we are almost done with five questions first I will just write it down for question number 26 the right answer was option A for question number 28 the right answer was option C question number 29 the right answer was option B for 30, it was B for 31 it was D so we are done with five questions so far now we'll go to the next section which is which will be starting from question number 32 so in question number 32 it is given division of labor in adam smith's analysis implies four options are given so division of labor in adam smith's analysis implies Mm, out of this four the right answer would be specialization that is when division of labor takes place like each labor has a specialization on one particular area so division of labor in Adam Smith analysis implies specialization so for question number 32 the right answer is option C so for question number 32 the right option is option C so now we'll come to the next question which is question number 33 it is given which of the following names is associated with the theory of entrepreneurship. So the theory of entrepreneurship is associated with Schumpeter, that is Joseph Schumpeter is associated with the theory of entrepreneurship. So for question number 33, right answer is option C. So now we'll go to the next question, which is question number 34. So the economist who defined economics as a science studying human behavior as a relationship between ends and scares mean was four options are given Alfred Mar Marshall, Leon F. Robbins, Samuelson and Piku. We know Leon L. Robbins which is the option B is the right answer. So for question number 34 the right answer is option B. Now we'll go to the next question which is question number 35. 12th five year plan in India was perioded between which year it would be 2012 and 17 so option A is the right answer so for question number 35 the right answer is option A that is the 12th five year plan in India pertains to the period 2012 to 2017 So now we'll go to the next question which is question number 36 it is given in a conventional economic approach the demand for labor is characterized as necessary labor inelastic labor and upward sloping demand So out of this four in conventional economic approach the demand for labor is characterized as given by all these options so the right option would be 
option D that is the demand for labor is derived demand it means what does it means this means it depends on demand for the product the worker are producing so it depends on the product that our workers are producing so for question number 36 the right answer is option D for question number 36 the right option is option D so now we'll go to the next question which is question number 37 so question number 37 it is given contribution of six industrial sector that is agriculture forestry logging fishing mining and quarry manufacturing and construction to the national income in india is estimated through four options are given so the right answer is product method so contribution of six industrial sector with agriculture forestry logging fishing mining quarrying manufacturing and construction to the national income in india is estimated through the product method so for question number 38 the right answer is option c so the question number 38 the right answer is option c so now we'll go to the next question which is question number 39 so question number 39 it is given the concept that is used to represent the total income of an account workers as well as profit generated in uni unincorporated enterprises in the national income data in india is four options are given out of which the right answer would be informal income so the concept that is used to represent the total income of own account workers as well as profit generated in unincorporated enterprises in the national income data in india is informal income so for question number 39 the right answer would be option a so for question number 39 the right answer would be option a so in today's video we'll solve couple of questions we solved question from 26 28 from 28 we did it until 39 so in the subsequent videos we'll solve other questions from the same paper so thank you for watching this video if you have any query or doubt regarding these questions you can simply whatsapp me on this number which is www.showropsersclasses.com there you will find a lot of other videos like this and you will also get to see a lot of other materials which are needed for MA economics exam for different universities now if you still have any query or doubt you can simply whatsapp me on this number which is 9836793076 so thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day ahead.